What's up everybody? We are here from Daytona International Speedway in sunny Daytona, Florida. Uh, I saw this challenge from our friend Matt Cressy, which is uh, also a Grom enthusiast. He's also a spec Miata racer out west and he has an initiative going on called EcoBrap and it's a uh, pretty neat thing to where he's uh, monitoring and trying to make his racing effort as efficient as possible and part of that is um, fuel mileage to the event, at the event, during the event with his pit bike uh, which is a Grom. So he's got a lot of cool stuff going on so uh, check out his channel, I'll probably link to it um, within this channel. I'm sorry, within this video, so we'll link to his. And what I'm going to do is do his EcoBrap challenge, which is uh, trying to remember it off the top of my head. Basically, uh, 45 minutes of fun uh, uh, while only using a gallon of gas. So this is pretty cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm doing that EcoBrap challenge here at Daytona International Speedway on my 2019 Honda Monkey. So basically, what we're going to do is we're going to fill up the tank and then we're going to go have fun for 45 minutes and I think what I'm going to do during that 45 minutes is probably show you the facility and just go riding around into the uh, the little pockets of stuff that we can find here at Daytona so we're in the paddock here Lake Lloyd is right behind us you can see across the way there's the speedway itself and the garage area so there's a lot that we can do here and that's what we're going to do for our eco brap challenge we're going to try to spend 45 minutes in and outside the facility so we're going to fill up with gas and then go have fun for 45 minutes and then see how much gas we use by filling the tank back up monitoring how many gallons went back in and calculating out a gas mileage so lots of stuff i hope i'm remembering it correctly uh, so Let's go ahead and uh, jump on the monkey and I'll moto vlog style this and we'll go have fun at Daytona International Speedway. First thing we do, steal some of my dad's ethanol free gas. Don't tell him. So uh, we're gonna fill up here. It should be able to top off the tank on the monkey. And I like using ethanol free because I just don't like putting ethanol E10 into a tank that I'm not going to run through that fast, so. And you see I filled it up right to the bottom of that uh, little flat piece down there, so that's where I'll fill it back up to, and we'll get an accurate reading. All right, so minus the race car noise in the background, first thing we're going to do is set our timer, 45 minutes. We're going to start that. And then we're going to go have 45 minutes of fun around Daytona Speedway. Well, first let me introduce my bike. We're on a 2019 Honda Monkey, which is the cousin or brother, I guess you could say, to the Honda Grom. So essentially it's got a Grom power plant, you know, Grom engine and trans, and running gear, essentially. But this is a vintage style little bike, and it's big on fun, low on horsepower, and big, big fuel mileage numbers. So this shouldn't be too hard to do. 45 minutes in less than a gallon.
So our timer is up. So that was 45 minutes. So we'll head over to the gas station and we'll top the tank off and see how much gas we used. So I could tell you, it's gonna be hard for me to put gas back in there. It doesn't even look like it's used any gas at all. So gotta put ethanol in here, which I hate doing. So uh, probably just go with 93. Why not? There's gonna be such a small amount of gas in here. And I'll even overestimate it a little bit. That's essentially where it was when I filled it up first, just showing a little bit above the uh, the metal plate level indicator in there. So uh, we'll just go with that. <laughs> 0.135 gallons. It cost me 42 cents to do that. Oh, I don't think I need a receipt for that. That is hilarious. So. I used 0.135 gallons of gas for 45 minutes plus of riding, which took me all throughout Daytona Speedway and outside behind the Speedway along the airport and across the street from the Speedway to the gas station. So that's pretty slick and I'll have to look back at the mileage how many miles I might have done on that journey. It's hard to say, I'll have to see at the, uh, see if we can see that on the Speedo when I started filming. But anyways, we'll calculate that up for you and we'll put that on a sidebar and we'll see uh, what our fuel mileage was. It should be fairly interesting to see.